Okay, in the previous video, we completed the clock economics and we got our new vehicle, motorbike. So that's what we can use now. Okay, click on the bottom right icon to go to your next assignment, networking concepts. Okay, click on the exclamation mark to talk to the person. Click next. Okay, networking topic today. Okay, virtual private cloud. Okay, so it's uh, which portion is exposed to the internet and which one is within the Amazon network. Okay, so first step, this is the learning portion. You can click through the diagrams. Okay, I guess it's the different uh, boundaries. We have the AWS cloud and the private cloud. Okay, click on the video concept link here to go through the videos. Okay, I'll pause the video while I go through the videos. Okay, when you're done with the videos, you can click the top right X to close. Then we will go to plan. Okay, so that's the overview of the practice lab that we'll be doing. Change web server from private to public, then a security group. Okay, click the practice. Okay, start lab to start the server. Okay, step two check the region okay, the region region is correct search for EC2 Instances. Okay, it's really selected. Select the web server, then copy the I public IP address. Web server, public IP address. copy it so click the left icon paste in the browser okay site can't be rich so to solve this issue or oh, because it is set to private okay click web server server instance networking tab review 
uh, note the addresses. Okay. Click the subnet ID. and rock table click on the subnet one okay then we the routes tab and review the two entries okay so one sends local traffic this is the internal and the other one routes all other traffic to internet Okay, click edit routes. Remove the net gateway. Then we add. So we will go destination is all zeros the target IGW okay then save the changes Okay, so we got the IGW instead of the instead of the net. Okay, step 12. Review. It's now reachable. Click the services to return to the EC2 page. Okay, from this page, go to security of the web server, security, then the security group, click the okay, step 14, edit, edit inbound rules. Add the rule. It is the HTTP anywhere 
Okay, then we save the rule. Okay, next instances. Choose the web server. Networking. Click the public IP. Okay, copy it. Next, paste to a browser. Okay, let's try this. Okay, so it's loading. Cannot connect. Okay, matches this. Okay, display as fail. Okay, so that's the practice lab. Next, we go to the DIY. Change security group rules to allow traffic over 3306 into the database. Uh -huh, so the 3306 is here. So this is what we're going to enable in the security policy okay update the security group rules so networking maybe security tab we probably need to add the security group is for the database so we click the database security security group and we can edit the inbound rules add some rule okay the type is uh oh, oh, traffic TCP maybe TCP TCP on three three zero six. Okay, let's give that a try. Source. The source is coming from the web server. It's probably my IP. Is it custom? Maybe custom. We want to put it to maybe just anywhere. Okay, let's try that. Save the rule. So that's the inbound rule added. Then we try to validate database security group name. That is maybe it's this one. Okay, let's try that. created a rule that allow all traffic oh, oh okay custom source is 10 10 0, 0, 24 let's edit this rule the source would be 10 10 10 10 0, 0. We need four. Okay, save. Let's try again. Okay, 
Ne was the custom source subnet. Okay, we're done. Let's go back, exit. Then click the exclamation mark to complete the assignment. Okay, we get to choose the reward. Let's choose maybe a first one, maybe. Okay, let's try. Let's take the first one. Okay, so that was the networking concepts uh, assignment. Okay, that's all for this video.